Oh, hey. So it's, it's been a while, and I'm really excited. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't made a video in a while is because I've been busy, just had no real motivations, but now I'm excited again. Now I, I'm ready to do something that I have no experience whatsoever. Um, musically, I have no skills at all. I have nothing musical in my life, never have, never will, but I'm going to build a guitar. I'm going to build a three-string um, funky butt guitar, and I've got some plywood and some oak uh, planks from a truck bed stick thing, and i got some, it's a hard one, some other oak stuff. Anyway, this, I've ordered the electronics. This is going to turn into an electric three-string guitar, left-handed, I think. I don't, I don't even know which way I play yet, but I think it's left-handed. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. Let's check this out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. Thanks. Let's see what we got so far. star let's move this puppy up I think that's came out cool Hey, so um, this is all dried up overnight, the glue. So let me take these clamps off and uh, we'll scrape some of that glue excess and run it through the planer, flatten it out, and go from there. Let's check it out. planer cleaned it up a little bit now I got to figure out in what's the best way to go about the next step um, 
I'm using Casey's acoustic, it's an Ibanez uh, electric acoustic guitar as a reference. Um, this is going to be fretless, but I still want the markings of where the frets are supposed to be. And so what I did was is I made a template from this guitar. It's a 25 and a half inch scale length, which a lot of these terms I'm saying right now, I don't really know what they mean, but I watched a lot of YouTube videos and did some research, so it's gonna help me. But I used this uh, piece of aluminum to line up those frets exactly. So I'm gonna transfer this scale to here. And so basically it's gonna go something about like this. Uh, I'll make my tuner pegs fit here. And a pickup will go here, volume, tone, and a jack. And we'll call it good. So anyway, I'm using this as a model to kind of get like neck shape and thickness is what I'm going to do. I got to make the shape of this, figure out I want to route stuff out first, do what I got to do. Anyway, that's what's going on. That's the next step we're at. It's based on this guitar. And again, I have no musical skills, understanding, or knowledge. This is all me wanting to learn, so I'll make my own guitar to learn on. A three-string fretless slide guitar. Let's check it out. So hey, um, this part's exciting. I had uh, we've gotten this far, got a basic shape down, and I've been waiting on <clears throat> excuse me, I've been waiting on the electronics uh, to come in so we can continue with this guitar build. And what I ordered was the pickups, the tuners, and strings. So all of that right here. So this is the pickup. Uh, it will go here. The tuner's up here to adjust the, the strings. And of course, about a pack of strings that will go on to this three string guitar. And I'm excited. Let's continue. Anyway, let's check it out.
this actually came out pretty decent. Um, I can file it open, you know, the, the file to clear it out enough to get that pickup to fit in there. So it'll come up from the bottom like that. And I gotta match that opening to here. But where I screwed up was is I gotta make a bigger hole on the bottom. And what I should have done is drilled a pilot hole all the way through. And when I when I drilled these holes, I should have I've stopped right to the bottom, then flipped it over, gotten a bigger forster bit go down. So now what I'm going to have to do is clamp a piece of wood to here, drill some pilot holes so the forcer bit has something to bite onto and it goes straight down in it. But um, anyway, you live and you learn. I, I wasn't thinking about that. So on to the next step. Let's check it out. And that's where it all went wrong, boys and girls. So, this build failed. Um, I had a blowout, I had a couple of them. Uh, where the pickup was supposed to go, this hole ended up being, because of the plywood that I laminated, it was just not that good. So I was gonna have to build a plate to go over that to make it look sharper, nicer. Uh, I got the volume and the tone control holes done pretty good. I was going to connect them through this. I drilled a hole all the way through this way to put the input jack and I had a blowout. And it blew out through the front and uh, so it's failed. It's toast. But I learned. I learned a lot and I'm still super excited because I'm being challenged on this build. I haven't felt challenged in a while. I mean most of the processes that go into building this, the glue ups, the tools I use are the same as I've done in other things. But just the idea of trying to make something I've never made before, something that I have absolutely no experience in as far as music goes. I mean, I, I literally have no skills or knowledge about music, um, other than I know what I like to listen to. So anyway, this was a failure. It came out really cool, other than the fail. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna try a different approach, and we'll go from there, and I hope I hope uh, you don't mind me making a video of a failure after all that, but one good thing too is I got all the parts in that I need. I have the, I started this build without having the electronics or the hardware that I needed. So now that I have that stuff, it'll be, I think a little bit easier for me to figure out how I'm going to go about making those things fit into some form of a three string guitar. I might do a cigar box, I might do a license plate. Um, I might do another solid body, I don't know yet, but that will be my next video. I am determined to make this. I'm still pumped. I'm still excited. This failure just challenges me to, to really want to make this happen and make it work. I want to learn how to play, and I'm going to do that. So anyway, I can't even make a pizza scoop out of this now, or a spoon, a big giant spoon, won't even work. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens next.